Hello everyone, welcome to Exam Coach. This is the part 6 of MCQ series on Constitution of India. In my today's video, I am going to discuss MCQs on Union Judiciary. Our Union Judiciary chapter to Constitution or part 5 what I say. And article 124 to 147 in part 5 of the Constitution deal with the organization, independence, jurisdictions, power and procedure of the Supreme Court. So let's begin. The first question is on which state Supreme Court hold its inaugural sitting? The correct option is that is C. On 28 January 1950, the Supreme Court hold its inaugural sitting. And the inauguration took place in the chamber of princes in the parliament building. Parliament building or was the present building or the court moved for The court moved into the present building in 1958. Second question is consider the following. The Kuntu statement correct. Okay. First statement that course is the largest ever bands of the Supreme Court, a 13 just constitutional bands decided on the case of I.C. Goloknath versus State of Punjab. Second statement it said the concept of femmed basic structure doctrine was introduced in the case of Keshavananda Bharati versus State of Kerala. So second statement to correct I mean basic structure doctrine to give Keshavananda Bharati case to introduce Kora Hosilen. But the first statement is not correct because the largest bands Bohisile Supreme Court of 13 judge or constitutional bands to hey bands con Bohisile Keshavananda Bharati case or case to basic structure doctrine to case as a hate and I see Golovnath case to no. So the correct option is B that is only the statement to it is true. Third question is in the landmark case of Keshavananda Bharati versus state of Kerala, the validity of which of the following constitutional amendment acts were affected. So Kuntu Kunbila constitutional amendments act Keshavananda Bharati case or Validity bula affel kora hoa shi. Okay, so one of the party case of petition kane challenge kore shi 24, 25th and 29th constitutional amendment. Okay, aro supreme court review kore shi 24, 25th, 26th and 29th. 24th or 25th to constitutional, uh, 29th to affel kore shi supreme court. Okay, so the correct option is that is the 24th and 25th amendment were affected. The validity of the 24th and 25th amendment were affected by the uh, Supreme Court in Keshavananda Bharati case. Okay. 24th amendment to Hosele 1971 or 25th to Hosele 1972. 25th amendment of Section 2, subsection A, Section 2, subsection B, and Section 3 of the 25th Amendment Act were affirmed by the Supreme Court in Keshavananda Bharati case. Okay. However, the second part of section 3, second part, okay, second part of the uh, section 3 of 25th Amendment Act was declared unconstitutional because it prevented judicial review of any law that gives effect to directive principle. He can unconstitutional bully declare kora hoisile. Okay. 29 to affel kore se lekin 29 to lagot yaar option of 28 to disagoti ki jami correct is a pe correct bulli ko bonu aru jihe to yaar 24, 25 and 29 bulli thakil le hoi to yaar to correct ho bogoti ke yaar option to mili se 24 and 25. Next question is the power of the Supreme Court of India to decide disputes between the center and the state falls under its original jurisdiction also original jurisdiction under supreme court or uh, center or state or jido dispute bila original jurisdiction under cover hoy okay our original jurisdiction to us article 131 next question is the salaries of the judges of the supreme court are determined by supreme court judge or salary board pune determine kore so parliament determine the salaries of the judges of the supreme court article 125 of the constitution leaves it to the Indian Parliament to determine the salary, other allowance, leave of absence, pension, etc. of the Supreme Court judges. So Parliament called salary no salary logo the other allowance, leave of absence, pensions, a hokolobur determined for a Supreme Court or judge or federal. Next question is which one of the foreign subjects comes under the common jurisdiction of the Supreme Court and the High Court? So lot here subject be like a kuntu subject Supreme Court or High Court over a common jurisdiction cover her. Okay, so the protection of the fundamental rights. 
Next question is special lift petition power of the Supreme Court does not extend to the following judgment decrees, etc. Supreme Court of special lift petition power to Kunbila Ketrot, judgment by decree Ketrot extend no it does not extend okay so it does not extend to any court or tribunal constituted by or under any law relating to the armed forces so the correct option is d that is two under which law article it is prescribed that all the proceeding in the supreme court of india shall be in english language so kun bilak law ba kun article order it prescribe kora hoise je Supreme Court of Proceeding Bila English at Hobo. So, Article 348 of the Constitution prescribes that the proceeding in the Supreme Court of India shall be in English. Our Article 348 under Supreme Court Aro High Court Ubara Kotakwa has the Supreme Court High Court of Proceeding Boards English at Hobo. Article 348 Ulek Parase. Next question In which of the following cases the Supreme Court has no adjudicatory jurisdiction to change the award? Kuntu Ketro, Supreme Court, adjudicatory jurisdiction, my award changer Ketro. So, option C, interested river dis water dispute and delimitation of constitution. Next question is which one of the following jurisdiction of the Indian judiciary covers public interest litigation? So, epistolary jurisdiction covers public interest litigation. Now, what is epistolary jurisdiction? Epistolary jurisdiction means jurisdiction through letters okay jurisdiction through letters is called epistolary jurisdiction that means in epistolary jurisdiction the court has the power to treat letter given to the individual judges or court as read petition suppose kunba kunba at a matter at a account letter a kare but jazo kodi bo pare ba court to kodi bo pare court e tetia he matter to consider kore ki koi read petition hisab he matter to Treat correct. Or he took a quaho epistolary jurisdiction and public interest litigation to epistolary jurisdiction that are covered. Hai. Next question is the minimum number of judges of the Supreme Court required for hearing any case involving interpretation of the constitution is so uh, constitutional interpretation of a related kiba case of the hearing hoi, he case of Supreme Court minimum number of judges kima taki bolage. So five minimum number of judges taki bolage. Next question is the acting chief justice of the Supreme Court in India is appointed by Supreme Court acting chief justice of Pune appoint by so president appoint the acting chief justice of the Supreme Court under article 126 when the office of the CJI CJI may chief justice of India is vacant or when the chief justice is by reason or otherwise unable to perform his duties then the president of India appoint other judges of the court as the acting subsistence of the supreme court next question is which article of the constitution permits the supreme court to review its own judgment or order so article 137 permits the supreme court to review its own judgment and order next question is the original jurisdiction of the supreme court of india does not extend to which of the following matters tolot ullekh kora a matter board kun to khetor supreme court to original jurisdiction to extend no hoy okay so this is d dispute arising out of any treaty agreement covenant engagement sonot or other similar instrument etu khetor uh, supreme court original jurisdiction to extend no hoy aru etu apuna ase article 131 clause c the proviso is okay. He proviso is clear. clear. He is provided. He is provided. Next question is which of the following statements regarding Supreme Court of India are correct? So, the correct statement is Supreme Court of Ketot correct. So, the correct option is D, statement 1, statement 2, and statement 4. Supreme Court has the power to entertain appeal from any court of India, a court or tribunal within India. Yes, it is correct. It has the power to deliver advisory opinion on any question of fact or law referred to it by the president. This is also correct. Its, its jurisdiction is binding on all other courts within the India. This is also correct. So the statement 1, 2, and 4 correct regarding the Supreme Court of India. 16th question is, electoral disputes arising out of president and vice presidential elections are settled by the 
तो ये ने कोई इलेक्ट्रल डिस्पूट जो फाइस प्रेसिडेंट और फाइस प्रेसिडेंट और मज़े एराइज हुए, हे बुर सेटल करें कुने सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया। नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन है हु हैज द राइट टू ट्रांसफर एनी केस एनीवेयर इन इंडिया, सो सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज द राइट टू ट्रांसफर एनी केस एनीवेयर इन इंडिया। वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन, अप टू व्हाट एज कैन द जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट सर्व, दैट इज 65 इयर्स। नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट मे रिजाइन हिज ऑफिस बाय राइटिंग ए लेटर टू द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जज रिजाइन करे बोले हले रिजिग्नेशन लेटर टू का एड्रेस करे प्रेसिडेंट का एड्रेस करे ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑन व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ग्राउंड्स कैन ए जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट बी इम्पीच कोन बिला ग्राउंड ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट जज ऑफ इम्पीच करा हन सो प्रूफ्ड मिसबिहेवियर एंड इनकैपेसिटी सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज दैट इज ऑप्शन डी दैट इज 2 एंड 3 ओके and the process of impeachment is described in article 124 clause 4 of the okay for of the constitution and the and the judges judges inquiry act 1968 of impeachment procedure to us and the process is same for all judges of the Supreme Court and the High Courts of the country, including the Chief Justices of India. Are we processed to Chief Justices of India? Belek Supreme Court of Judges by High Court of Judges, Hokolo Ketode impeachment procedure to take away. So, Ekinia Silajiramar MCQs on Union Judiciary. So, thank you.